You guys have been asking me for thoughts on intermittent fasting. Here you go. Number one, it's a tool that you can put in your toolbox and your success or lack thereof depends on the skills and abilities you bring to intermittent fasting, not what fasting brings to you. Number two, it's not necessary like all tools, like, like all dietary programs. There's this idea that filters throughout our fitness culture these days where if something has some shred of proof behind it and experts claim it works, then that somehow turns into you have to do this. No, you don't. You, we can have the most ironclad dietary protocol that's guaranteed to work for everybody and you still don't have to do that. There's a million ways to have success and a healthy diet. So. If you like intermittent fasting, it works for you and you feel good with it and stuff, awesome. If it's not really your thing, you don't really kind of jive with it, don't worry about it. Number three, flexibility is key here. There's a lot of programs out there, fast for 12 hours, 16 hours, 24 hours, so on. Adjust your fasting length to what you feel is best. One of the best ways to know if something is working well for you is if your energy level goes up. So if you're finding that you're fasting, you feel great for 12 hours, but after that, <clears throat> your energy level tanks, that might be the duration of your fast. Even if your program says, no, you have to be on it for 24 hours. Hey, your energy is what's really in charge. You're the one who's really in charge, not some guy who wrote a book. So be flexible with your approach. Maybe it's just skipping a single meal or even a snack that you usually do. Number three, it's not the be all end all like awesomest way to lose weight. Okay? All programs, intermittent fasting, keto, paleo, vegan, every single thing actually ultimately leads to prevention of weight loss because weight loss happens during an adjustment period due to a new program. So you start losing weight, your body's going like, whoa, hang on, all of a sudden we've got this caloric imbalance going on, what, what's going on, I don't know, I can't survive this way, I've gotta make some adjustments and eventually it's gonna figure out how to get you back into a homeostatic state under your new fasting protocol, keto protocol, whatever you're using, right? And it's at that point, you're gonna stop losing weight and we of course often think, well, it stopped working. Actually, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Every weight loss protocol ultimately leads to a prevention of weight loss when the habits are consistent. So when you have consistent regular fasting periods, your body learns and adapts to that as it's supposed to. So if you're looking to use it for weight loss, I recommend use it in an inconsistent way. You feel like, okay, Tuesday is a fairly low key day, I'll fast on Tuesday. All right, now a couple weeks go by, I'm like, well, uh, maybe I'll fast for Wednesday afternoon or something. When things are inconsistent, that keeps the body kind of changing and adapting to some degree. Consistent dietary habits lead to weight maintenance after a short period where you may lose weight during the period of adjustment. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below. Be fit, live free.